Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ogigraft. Uh So today, I'm wanting to get my farm done for the bamboo. Um, it's a fairly simple design, I think. Um, we're just going to jump right into it. I like to use levers for um yeah, activating redstone uh, powered rails just it's cheaper in my opinion um especially when you're first starting off and i don't have much redstone i had to go out and mine some redstone and get enough to build some of this stuff uh but let's just see basically this is just a flying machine um i still haven't built the activation system for it but i do have um the mine carts set to go off and come back and the fly machine goes off and then the fly machine will get to the very end there and then come right back and when it gets back it sends these minecart hoppers off again and there they go collecting whatever they did they you know uh all the bamboo um so yeah let's uh let's go ahead and jump into that we will Go ahead and get the rails set up. Um, yeah, we'll use that. All right. So for the rails, uh, we are going to do one more like this and then come down here. And there it is. Every single one of these will have to be activated across. And do we have torches? Yes, we do. Okay. I think I do. <laughs> okay, and there's the last one. And then all we're going to do is put torches under here. And again, the torches are cheaper. Um, okay, and then we can cover this back up. Um, make sure there's light under here so we don't have anything spawning. All right, that should do it. Yep. And close this back up. And then let's see, how did I do this one? Oh, I did the same thing, didn't I? Yep, sure did. All right. I don't have to worry about lights on here because the uh, mobs don't spawn on tr tracks. Uh, and this is about to be covered with tracks. So let's go ahead and this all right yeah we're gonna have some. whoops okay um okay yeah, we should probably go ahead and go to this step and you know what that makes no sense why don't i just do that all right um this will i guess make for more storage so we'll, we'll go with it like this for now but that's going to be a pain to empty all these um all right All right, we can always change it later if I don't like it. Okay, uh, so that is done. No, oh. yeah, and that is actually, oops, boom. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
And actually, this is a good little spot right here. We'll just finish digging this out. All right. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to need these all the way across. All right, and then let's go back upstairs. And okay, we got that. Um, next, we are going to need the powered rails and the regular rails. All right. Okay, and we have that part done. Now we can go grab some of the carts. And we're done with this and this, and we're done with these, and we're done with those, and for now we're done with that, but we will be getting back into the redstone here in just a minute, because um, we still have to design a way for the bamboo to recognize, um, well, we have to set up an observer looking at the bamboo that grows and when that bamboo is going to set this flying machine off to cut the yard. So uh, let's go ahead and add all these guys. All right. All right. So we got those added. Uh, next will be to get the. Oops. Okay, that's good enough. Next will be to get the grass and I think a little bit of dirt that I have. All right, and that zombie is the one that I'm holding on to. And, okay, so the grass will go one block above all this. That is the last block for the grass that I got to place. Um, so the next thing we got to figure out is, um, well, I like to use terracotta, but uh, all I have is obsidian right now, glazed terracotta, uh, because it can slide over top of it. But the obsidian, while a little bit more expensive, um, it will do the trick too. So what I don't want to happen is I don't want the bamboo to be going all over the place. Um, the Most of the time, it's going to kick off and it's going to sweep this direction. So uh, one thing we need is glass um, and the obsidian. So uh, exactly how this works. Um, Somewhere here, maybe. Um, seems like a good area. We're going to have a redstone um, thing set up very similar to this over here to kick it off. Um, like when the flying machine gets here, this observes that the flying machine arrived and then it sends off a signal. You have to pull this back to three or to four ticks. Um, so one, two, three, four. Um, and then that gives it just a long enough signal to not glitch the flying machine. Uh, you know, when it flies off and it flies off like it's supposed to. Um, 
the thing we got to figure out is the flying machine stops right here and we need to make sure that everything here is obsidian and actually this doesn't have to be and same here this doesn't have to be obsidian but all this needs to be um, okay so the um, slime blocks will not grab these blocks or break the machine when it gets here it's just gonna leave it here um, you know, it's possible I don't even need the obsidian. I might just run into this, but either way, it's there now. Um, and then we also want a, pr a pretty solid wall here as best we can get. Okay, so there we go, we got a solid wall, and let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, so if we go under here. Uh, eat some food. Boom, and let's see, does this work? Okay, and check that out. Comes right back, no issues. So, all right. So there we go. We got the, uh, once we fill this up with bamboo, it'll go through and, oh yeah, all these. Yeah, that's something I'd like to be able to see, right? We want to be able to see if that is, we got some issues. Uh, make sure we haven't lost any of the, um, yeah, 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 these guys. Okay. Okay. So now we can make sure that these guys are rock solid. Like, you know, we haven't lost anything. Okay. But the next trick is going to be this side. Um, so on this side, um, we, we could lose a little bit on the way back. Um, but... I'm not overly concerned about that, I think. Like, this is going to go off when the bamboo grows up. All right, so let's go ahead and build that next part. We're going to put a sticky piston there, right? And then we... Um, I don't have a whole lot of concrete right now, so I'm kind of just using, you know, this line right there. So there we go. Um, all right. So there we go. We I think we can just power it like this right here. Um, I, well, I know uh, one, two, three, four, um, and boom, and let's see. All right, so there's that redstone line, and we'll take that uh, bamboo that decides it wants to grow up right there. All right, so there's that bamboo, and it's going to grow up. And when it does grow up, and it reaches, uh, let's just say this. Let's put one more for a minute. This is temporary. All right, so that's temporary. And oh, wrong way. I always do that. All right. So, like that. And then, oh, right. Okay. Um, 
All right, now we're going to simulate the growth uh, and see um, if it works like we hope it does. So we can do that. Just stand right here and for that matter. Okay, let's try that one more time. All right. Okay. Oh. And one more should make this kick off, right? Yeah, sure does. Okay. So there we go. We got a simple redstone line that will go through. And then, boom, it comes back. Now, we're going to have some bamboo over there that won't get cut. And. That's OK. All right, so there we go. Uh, a little bit of light. I think we got enough light here that this thing is going to produce fairly well. And then we just have to start back here laying down all of the bamboo. So we'll jump into a quick time lapse for this. So this is kind of how I tell you. You look around and you see kind of through here, it doesn't seem like it's growing, right? So we're going to go in and I don't know another way, a better way yet other than doing it outside in the open. So really this farm works best out in the open, but I wanted to hide it. Um, so we're going to come here. We're going to plop down some light and uh, we will go over here. And plop down some light right there. OK, now with the light in those two spots, I think even though we won't be producing bamboo there, it'll make the rest of the bamboo grow faster, which, you know, like you see, you already see it growing right there and right there. So, yeah, I, I think that's what we needed was just a little bit more light. And as soon as this bamboo right here grows up in front of that, it's going to shoot off and then um, collect the bamboo and we collect it underneath. So let's go ahead and do that just as a test now. Ooh, OK, and there we go. It's mowing the lawn. Oh, it grabbed the glass block. <laughs> that was my bad. Didn't break it, but it, it kind of broke it because now i got to go <laughs> replant all of the uh, uh, stuff there. Okay. All right. So let's fix that. Um, all right. That's what it needed. And also, yep. Yep. Look at all this. We got a little bit of bamboo coming out the side here. Um, so. And then we got to fix this because the piece of glass broke it. All right. Okay. So that should fix that part. Let's run it one more time. Um, and then I'm going to come back later and I'm going to close uh, as many of the gaps as I can. Um, the thing about enclosing these gaps, though, is like this, I can make it, you know, that block. Uh, but then I'm going to need the obsidian or if I had glazed terracotta, I would use glazed terracotta instead um, because it's cheaper. And the glazed terracotta, the slime blocks can slide alongside of the glazed terracotta, uh, but they can push glazed terracotta. So 
the glazed terracotta doesn't act like obsidian and other blocks where it just blocks it. And then I think I can also do it with uh, some other style blocks. Um, the, um, gosh, what am I thinking of? Um, like furnaces and other immovable blocks. So, all right, so let's do that. And there we go. Okay, I'm probably stuck in here now. That's okay. Um, all right, so that looks pretty good now. No, I said I was just going to wait, but all right, let's get out of here. Uh, okay, now we're out of here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and break that. Also, that covers up the light. That's not good. So let's make that glass. All right, so we'll go that high for now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, bamboo farm. Uh, and then we can come under here and uh, you know, we've already started getting bamboo. Now, I'm probably going to come back and change this. I don't know. I may not, especially if I'm going to AFK here for a while and I want, uh, you know, it to go into a bunch of storage. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep it like this for now. But yeah, so now I'm going to uh, go ahead and stop recording and AFK for a little while and see if um, it... Uh, produces or how it produces and then from this I'm going to get sticks and with the sticks I'm going to trade with my villagers for not only XP but for emeralds and then I'm going to get more villagers in here for books and for um, you know uh, bricks that's one of the ones that I want to get in here the masons so uh, and then the clerics to get the um, uh, what do you call it the ender pearls so all the things, all the Minecraft things, and um, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Hello, everyone. Uh, I wanted to record the closing with Mama Bear, but uh, we had some things pop up somewhere else, and um, she is busy on some other projects, and of course, uh, in real life stuff. Um, so um, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode now. Um, we got the farm done. Um, I'm satisfied with it. And um, I didn't get a lot of time to AFK, but we got a decent amount of stuff that's uh, producing under here um, that I'm going to turn into sticks to trade with the villagers. Uh, we got a few more villagers added. I still want one more cartography guy right here before I start putting my masons in. And then um, I got uh, I'll do six masons and then I'll just keep alternating that. I think I'll save the books for last because we're going to need books, obviously, for some of the tools. Um, but that's pretty much it. We added some villagers uh, since the last stream uh, or the last recording. And, um, you know, I thank you guys for watching. Um, let's just take a quick look around the base real quick. And, um, you know, that's... All we have, I still got the roof I want to change. I'm not happy with that roof. Um, I'm not super happy with the diorite on this house, but I really, really like the texture that I did. Um, and so we'll, we'll do a little bit of fixing on that later. Uh, and something else maybe you guys haven't seen um, off in this direction that I brought from another server that I like to play on, but I really like the build, so I wanted to include it here too. Um, is my Atlas guy. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.